even touch any code, you should have a plan for building your website. And this is true for both the front end and the back end. Typically, when starting on a project, we will have some designs to review. And as a front end developer, it's your job to review these designs and determine what fonts and colors are used, what styles can be global, and what kind of components we should build. In our example, we have this design of a fun pretend version of Netflix. So sometimes you'll receive an annotated mockup. Sometimes a designer may use software that allows us to inspect the designs ourselves. And sometimes you may just have to ask for more information. So I'm gonna start reviewing this design and look for whatever global styles I can find. So first, I'm gonna look at what fonts are being used. So I know what fonts I need to install and add to my theme. And I found a few different sizes of Leto and Helvetica. So I'm gonna note that. Next, I'm gonna grab the colors I can find and make notes on that too. Here I've indicated what hex code they are, and I went ahead and gave them some variable names that I'm gonna to use to assess later. So now is the fun part, and it's time to start planning components. Right away, I see this featured video section. I think that's definitely going to be a component, but I think we could break it down into even smaller components. That way, each item can be used everywhere else on the site too. The first thing I see within this featured video section is a heading. Headings are used all throughout the site, so I think I wanna make this a component on its own. Some other components I see are these rating stars and the MPAA ratings. And even though they are together in this example, I'm going to make each one a separate component so that they can also be used anywhere individually on the site as well. I also see a button here, so I wanna make that a component. That way we can use buttons anywhere, not just in the feature video section. So now we have our smaller components to make our bigger featured video component. So I'm gonna look for some more components. Here, I see a card component. Card components are really common on most sites now, and they're typically an image, a title, some short text, some call to actions. And here, I've indicated what it should look like on hover. That way we can make the whole component. And then of course we have our card list component that we will use to display our rows of individual cards. We can't forget about the header. And even that we are going to break down into two components, a logo and a menu. So let's get started with setting this up. 